Last time we were here in Transformation Station was so delicious. I still got sugar plums dancing in my head. Oh, I'm so glad you enjoyed the candy race, Karki. You know, I don't like to brag, but I am an expert in all things sweet, from lollipops to sugar plums to cake. Ooh, ooh. You know what? Um, speaking of cake, look at what old Tutu's got working up over here. That cake looks so delicious. Hey, wait a minute. I got an idea. <gasps> Why don't you distract her just for a second? and I'll go around and take a little bitty bite just to taste test it for us. Oh, I don't know. Chef Tutu is very particular about how she likes her baked goods. Oh, no, no, it's okay. She's not even gonna know the difference. I'll be like a little mouse just taking a little nibble. She, she won't know. I don't think that that's a good idea, Race Cargi. I can't distract her so that you can go take a bite of her cake. What if we mess it up? All right, all right. Well, look, at least we can just go over and pay her a compliment about how good her cake looks. How about us do that? Good idea. All right, all right. Hey, uh, Chef Tutu! Oh, Ricky, hey. always a pleasure to see you. How yeah. are you doing? How are you? I'm doing well. What are you just, working on here? Ooh. I'm working on this Valentine's Day cake. Oh, looks <gasps> delicious. Oh my Thank gosh, you. Valentine's Day. It's yes. my favorite holiday and I forgot to get candy for my friends. Oh, what am I going to do? Oh, well, uh, you know what, uh, Sprinkles, I bet we could help you with that because mm. Look, Chef Tutu's got this cake. She could just give it to you, and then you could give it to your friends or your dad or whatever. Well, if you really need it, I can help you out with that, <gasps> Princess Frost. Thank awesome. you so much, Chef Tutu. Princess Frost! That candy you gave me the last time we were here in Transformation Station was so delicious. I still got sugar plums dancing in my head. Oh, I'm so glad you enjoyed the candy race, Karki. You know, I don't like to brag, but I am an expert in all things sweet, from lollipops to sugar plums to cake. Ooh, ooh. You know what? Um, speaking of cake, look at what old Tutu's got working up over here. That cake looks so delicious. Hey, wait a minute. I got an idea. <gasps> Why don't you distract her just for a second and I'll go around and take a little bitty bite just to taste test it for us. Oh, I don't know. Chef Tutu is very particular about how she likes her baked goods. Oh, no, no, it's okay. She's not even gonna know the difference. I'll be like a little mouse just taking a little nibble. She, she won't know. Okay, well, I guess that's all right. You sneak around and then I'll talk to her while you get a bite. Just make sure to let me know if it's really, really good. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. <gasps> Chef Tutu, how are you? Oh, hello, Princess Frost. How are you doing today? Are you having a good week? I am having a wonderful week. You know it's Valentine's Day, my favorite holiday. Oh, mine's beautiful. I'm baking this beautiful cake. Looks delicious. Wow. Oh, well, think, no, no, Ricky, what are you doing? Well, I was just gonna take a little nibble, like a little taste. I mean, you need a, you need a taste tester before you bring this cake to whatever banquet or party you're going to, right? No, no, and more no's. We don't taste finished cakes. Oh, why not? Because we just don't. You should have been here earlier. Princess Frost! That candy you gave me the last time we were here in Transformation Station was so delicious. I still got sugar plums dancing in my head. Oh, I'm so glad you enjoyed the candy race, Karki. You know, I don't like to brag, but I am an expert in all things sweet, from lollipops to sugar plums to cake. Ooh, ooh. You know what? Um, speaking of cake, look at what old Tutu's got working up over here. That cake looks so delicious. Hey, wait a minute. I got an idea. <gasps> Why don't you distract her just for a second? and I'll go around and take a little bitty bite just to taste test it for us. Oh, I don't know. Chef Tutu is very particular about how she likes her baked goods. Oh, no, no, it's okay. She's not even gonna know the difference. I'll be like a little mouse just taking a little nibble. She, she won't know. Well, I guess it's all right. I'll go up and talk to her. You sneak around the back and get a bite. Just make sure that if you tell me, it's really, really good. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Chef Tutu, how has your day been? Oh, hello, Princess Frost. Are you having a good week? I am having a wonderful week. You know wonderful. It's my favorite holiday, Valentine's Day. Mine too. That's why I'm baking this delicious cake. Well, it looks delicious. I bet it smells even better. Would Can you I... like to smell it? Oh, could I? Yes. <laughs> oh, me too, me too. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh Ricky, look no. what you've done. <sighs> Well, that was an interesting experiment, race car, Ricky. Wow. Was that your suggestion on getting a piece or a taste of my cake? Guilty as charged. Every time we change our actions, we get a different result. This is why it's important so that we make the right decision so we can protect, so we can protect ourselves and the people around us. 
You know, Frosty, you nailed it. I mean, the truth is, is that God says we can all have a huge impact for his kingdom. Like just telling one person about Jesus' love. And then they tell a friend, and then they tell a friend, and the effect multiplies. Yeah, you guys are right. You know, Paul, when he went on his second missionary journey, he took his friend Silas with him. If the two of them hadn't listened to God's command and obeyed, mm. then they wouldn't have had the impact that they had. I mean, the Bible even, even tells us about a few people that heard the gospel directly from them. I mean, there was Lydia and the jailer in Macedonia, and they heard the gospel from Paul and Silas and believed. And then they told all their families who then also believed. It's just a huge ripple effect uh, all the way through. And who knows how many people Paul and Silas converted to Christianity that were affected by that? Well, I bet it was a lot. I mean, if you just tell one person about Jesus' love, that is a gift. I mean, it fits perfectly with our attribute about God this week. God is our Savior. God. I mean, whoever, he, whoever heals his message will be saved, I mean, if you believe. That's true. I mean, God is our Savior. And, um, you know, I think it's probably appropriate for us to say a prayer and just thank God for being our Savior, but for also, you know, inspiring us to go tell others uh, about the gospel. That is true. Good yeah. idea, Ricky. All right. And Let's... maybe y'all can help me with this cake afterwards. Well, maybe. It's a little messy. A little, right? We'll clean it up. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's say a prayer, buddy. Dear Heavenly Father, Ricky here. Just thank you again for all that you do for us and for being our Savior. And just thank you for um, encouraging us and inspiring us to tell other people about your love and about the gift of your Son. And just help us to go throughout this week and, uh, and just witness to one other person. It's just a, a huge ripple effect that that can have in the world. In your name I pray. Amen. 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 Well, I mean, Tutu, that was a really tasty cake, I must admit. <laughs> so you don't need to try it. No, I think I'm good. Good. Well, let's get started, everyone. See you guys. Have a good week. Have a great week, everyone. Happy Valentine's Day. Transformation Station.